Welcome to another Savvy Everything video. This week, I stole one of my wife's purses. It's dry, it's older, it's something I think she's had the whole time we've been together. We've been married 20 years. And this thing is just showing all the signs of age. So, did you know you could use our Wise Owl Furniture Salve on leather purses? Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But today, I'm gonna to show you exactly what it does, what it looks like, and the amazing effects it'll have to revitalize that old leather purse. That's something you're interested in. Stay tuned today on Wise Owl Paint Party. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to zoom in a little bit closer to the purse. That way you can actually see what's going on. But I wanted to share what you're going to need. So you're going to need a Wise Owl Premium Brush. This is a two inch palm, but you can use any one of our Wise Owl Premium Brushes. This is my main go to for any salving or waxing. So it just depends on the size of the surface or what kind of brush you're going to you're going to get. This is the one I have out today and then White tea is the scent I'm gonna to use today. It's my wife's favorite of all the scents. So I knew if I did, snuck and grabbed one of her purses for one of these videos, she would not only be happy, but she would love the way it smells. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in, crop down, and show you exactly what's gonna happen and how this purse is gonna get brought back to life. All right, so I have you all zoomed in and you can see, you know, this is an older purse. It's showing signs of wear and tear, but it's leather and that's the thing. When you have these leather purses, they will last a very, very long time if they're taken care of. And I know my wife has already used some of the salve on, on a couple other of her purses. So if anybody out there is like, don't do it, trust me, she'll love it. It'll smell amazing and it's gonna look amazing. So we have white tea, as I mentioned, this is her favorite scent. So if you're looking for something either for yourself or your significant other, this would be the way to go. I really think white tea smells amazing, but all of them smell great. So if you're new to this, first time ever seeing, this is what the salve looks like. I'm just gonna dab a little bit on my brush, just a little bit. You don't, don't need very much. And we're gonna do half so you can kind of see, and you're just gonna brush it on. And you can already see just how much life got brought back into this leather. So basically what this salve is doing is it's going into the leather and it's just kind of revitalizing it, as my daughter would say. It's like her, her hashtag word for salve. Anytime she does a video with me for it, she's like, Dad, it's revitalizing. So look at that. I mean, it's, it really is that incredible. And depending on how dry your leather purse is, you may need to do a coat or two you know, to get it on there and brush it in really, really good and let it, you know, dry for a little bit, maybe like 10, 15 minutes-ish, minutes -ish, and then you're gonna wipe it off. And we're gonna go through that here in a second. I'm just gonna wipe off a little bit quicker because we got this video. So, but you can see just simply brushing it on. You don't need to be specific about how you do it, but if you wanna do in little circles to get, you know, really, get it penetrated down into leather, you can do that. And for those, if it's the first time you've ever watched a sad video, you don't need to worry about this harming your leather or making it hard and stiff. You're not gonna have to worry about any of that because the way the salve is created, when it penetrates and combines with leather, it's just revitalizing it. It's bringing it back to life. It's allowing it to have that, uh, the moisture. It's almost like, you put lotion on your dry hands, which is, this is actually good for as well. And it will just add moisture back to it and it'll make it more pliable. It'll make it just, just a, I don't know, a newer looking surface ultimately at the end of the day. So you can kind of see, I'm hoping with the reflection of the light, you can get a good view of, and then since we have this leather stitching down the middle, you can really see the before and after right there before your eyes. So I'm just gonna take my rag and this just happens and you can see nothing even came off because this is so, so old. It just really absorbed it all into it, which is great because it means it's just gonna soften it up and you can feel it too. 
It's softer. This side's a little bit more rough and scaly kind of feel. So this is definitely gonna need more than one coat just because it's older and it just, oh, just absorbed it all right into it. It's crazy because there's hardly anything coming off. Maybe a little bit of the dirt and years of wear. Yep, that was it. So we're gonna go ahead and do both sides so you can kind of see both together. Look at that. Crazy, right? This is one of my, my wife's favorite things to do. She'll bust out her purses every so often and maybe try a different scent. But I can tell you 90% of the time it's white tea. She just really loves that scent. Always has since it came out. So, but again, this is an older purse. So I probably would do this now. And I'm gonna wipe this off and I'll probably come back and do another coat you know, maybe like an hour or so, because it really is that dry, um, it's gonna need it, I think. Yeah, definitely gonna need it. But this is all there is to it. Another fun way to use salve in your house. So if it's winter time for you right now, if you're watching this video and you still got snow on the ground, I'm, I'm in Florida, so I definitely do not. But if you're, you know, looking through some of all your your purses that got dry and and uh, weathered a little bit through the winter months. Now's a great time for you know your spring cleaning and bust out your purses and you know just bring them back to life before you start taking them out again. And that is all there is to it. Really cool, right? So you had you know this dry, you know kind of weathered look, and then on the other side, it's already just with the one coat starting to have a little bit of the the color back to it and it's soft and smells amazing. So that's another great way to use our furniture salve on a leather purse. All right, and there you have it. A brand new looking, now less cracked, less dry looking purse and smells amazing. So if you're looking for a way, you're doing spring cleaning and you wanna bring all your purses back out and make them look amazing, I highly recommend trying our Wise All Furniture Sab. And if you take my wife's recommendation, try the white tea, but I'm telling you all the scents are amazing. I definitely would give them all a try, but white tea just happens to be that one that she loves the most. If you've not tried any of our Wise All Furniture Sabs yet, please find your local Wise All retailer near you. I'll have a link down below to help you find yours. You like this video, you enjoy watching these sad videos. If you want to see more of these sad videos, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, the like button, leave a comment down below. What would you like to see? What have you used salve on that is something totally different from everybody else other than top coating paint or fixing your purse? Let us know. I'd love to do a video and just show you a little bit more in person and share that information with everybody. I hope everybody has a blessed day. And as always, happy painting.